So I did what I thought was the right thing, which is make myself small, make myself subdominant, just crouch down. And then the jaguar did something which I didn't expect it to do. It sat down. That was strange to me. And then I got scared. And I stood up and I stepped back because I felt the distance was too close now. That, that it didn't like. And all this time, I mean, I'm totally aware. I have no place to go. And with no place to go, nowhere to run, Alan just stood there, frozen in place. And the jaguar rose, and it too just stood absolutely silent. Then it just turned and started walking off into the jungle. And before it disappeared into the brush, it turned back to look at me. Then I really looked it in, in the eyes, and they were wild eyes. There was fire in the jaguar's eyes. The last thing I remember very clearly is looking into into its eyes and thinking of seeing the jaguar in the Bronx Zoo as a child, but seeing the wildness in this animal's eyes. It didn't look anything like that cat in the cage. It showed strength and freedom. And we had just protected this incredible area, which now would be its home. And I remember telling the cat at one point that, that I'd find a place for us. <laughs> 